Yo, what is going on guys? It's your Tonic here back with another video for you. Today I'm going to be helping you guys improve your FPS and your input delay on a bunch of different games such as Fortnite, Apex Legends, GTA, and a bunch of different other Call of Duties. So I hope you guys do enjoy the video. If you do, make sure to go ahead and drop a like, subscribe, and pay attention. Also, comment your guys' results down below. I'm curious to see how much of an FPS boost you guys get from this video. I'm going to leave timestamps down below for each of the games if you want the specific settings for each game, but I'm also going to leave a timestamp for just the general window settings that apply to every single game and some graphics driver settings. So I hope you guys do enjoy the video. Again, drop a like, subscribe, and enjoy. So the first thing I want to show you guys before we even do anything is you want to go down to the bottom left and go ahead and type in restore so that way you get a restore point. What a restore point is basically in case something goes wrong or you don't like a change that we made, you guys can go right back to your restore point so it doesn't hurt anything on your computer. So I'm really just going to name this tutorial and then I'm going to hit create. Now it's creating a restore point so we can go back to this version of our windows in the case we change anything that you don't like or you just want to revert it back. Now we've created a restore point, we're all good. The first thing I want to go ahead and show you guys is just the general window settings that you guys should have on or off. First thing I want to go ahead and show you guys is the game bar settings, the gaming settings. You want to have your game bar turned off. This could easily net you an extra 15 to 20 FPS in some games just by having the game bar turned off. If you need a clipping software and you're on NVIDIA, just use GeForce Experience. And if you're on AMD, you can use Metal or a lot of other uh, capturing softwares that are out there are really good. You want to make sure you have game mode turned on. This can help you out when you're playing. It just makes sure that your games are more high priority than they normally would be. And this tab doesn't matter. Now we're going to go back, I'm going to go to the notifications. You want to make sure you have all your notifications turned off, uncheck all of these, make sure they're all on off, or you could just turn off notifications, it does the same thing. Focus assist, you want to make sure you turn all of this off, keep that off. Power and sleep, you can put it both on never. Storage, you can leave that on. You want to turn tablet mode off, multitasking off and off, projecting to this PC, off, always off. You know, all that stuff right there. Mostly you're just going to be turning most of the stuff off because you do not need it at all. Same thing with this tab. You're going to turn those off. Basically, I'm going to go through and you guys can just copy these settings. But most of them are just going to be off. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and go to our apps tab. And when you get to here, I want you to just uninstall, uninstall any apps that you know you don't use or you don't need. Like I haven't played Among Us and I don't even know how long. So I'm just going to go ahead and uninstall Among Us. Okay, we'll have to sign in to see. I'm not going to do that right now. But make sure you guys go ahead and uninstall anything that you guys don't use here. And we're going to be showing you another program that can help you uninstall some more stuff. But if you guys know there's stuff you don't use in here, just make sure you go ahead and scroll all the way down. Uninstall anything that you don't need. You can turn maps, all of the apps or websites, turn it off. Video playback. Make sure you turn this on. Startup. On startup, you don't want anything else on that you don't need. So for instance, I have my mouse software and all that stuff off. I'll turn it on if I need it. DS4 Windows, off. You guys want to make sure you turn off everything that you don't use or that you don't need right away. Except for your audio drivers, which may or may not be there. Keep those on. And I need this for Valorant, so you have to keep that on as well. That's the majority of the important settings here. Last thing I want to show you guys really quickly is the update and security. You want to make sure that you update your windows. This is very important, and a lot of times this can make a huge difference in your game just by having your windows updated. Delivery optimization, you want to turn this off. This is one thing that's overlooked on a lot of videos that I've seen covering this topic, and it's called activation. If you don't have an activated version of Windows, you need to go buy one. If you look at the bottom right of my screen, there, is, like down here, there is no watermark saying that you need to activate Windows. If you have that there, that could easily just be destroying your FPS. Now, I don't know why it does that, but it does. You need to buy an actual copy of Windows if you don't already have one. And if you need help getting a copy of Windows for a little bit cheaper, just send me a DM on Instagram and I'll send you the link for it. Pretty much that's about it for all the window settings. I do want to show you guys our power management plan here. So you want to go down in the bottom left and type in power space plan and edit power plan. Now, as you guys see here, I'm gonna make this window big. You wanna change advanced power settings and you see how mine is on the ultimate performance. There is a bunch of different, there's AMD Ryzen performance. There's so many different ones. There could be, there's balanced. There's, there's, there's so many different ones. I'm just gonna exit out of this and go to power options, edit plan settings. 
and then you want to if I hide this it's gonna be like this hidden most likely for you and you want to hit this drop down arrow and it's most likely gonna be on one of these you want to select ultimate performance if you don't already have ultimate performance if you have a high performance or an ultimate performance select either one of those they are both good once you do that you're all good there is no apply button I'm gonna go ahead and show you the graphic settings for Nvidia graphics cards if you guys have an AMD card Again, if there's enough of you guys out there that have an AMD card and you guys want me to make a video on the settings for AMD, you guys can let me know in the comments or you guys can go search up the best uh, AMD card like settings. I don't know how their graphics drivers look like, but you guys can go look that up or I'll link one down below if I find one. Again, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the NVIDIA control panel settings that you guys need to copy for the absolute most FPS and the least and best looking game with the least amount of input delay. So you want to go ahead, I'm going to start here, adjust settings with preview. You want to go ahead and use my preference emphasizing, drag this over to performance, hit apply, and then use the 3D image settings. Go back to manage 3D settings, and you guys want to copy these of separate image sharpening. The only reason I use image sharpening is to make my game look better because I play in a lower resolution. Now this doesn't make your game look or feel any worse than normal. It just makes it look a little bit more sharper cleans up the image if you play at a lower resolution lower pixels on your screen it makes it look a little bit better with no um, diminishing returns so again you guys want to copy all these settings except for the image sharpening I'm gonna go ahead and scroll all the way down and you guys can just copy all of my settings the most important ones are gonna be the low latency mode the open rendering GPU you want to make sure you have your GPU selected and then the power management mode you want those those are the most important ones for sure and also texture filtering quality. You want that in high performance. Those are the most important ones. But I scrolled down. I'll scroll back up really quickly. You guys can pause the video and make sure you guys copy all of those settings. Now, the next thing I want to show you guys is the video color settings. You guys want to go down to color, advanced, and you guys want to put this on full. This is just going to make your monitor's color a lot better. Once you hit apply, that's pretty much the last setting that is in here. You guys just want to go ahead and check apply really quickly. That's the last setting that's in here. I'm going to close out of this. Now I'm going to start going into some of the games and showing you guys some settings that you guys can improve in each game. And then I'm going to come back to the desktop and show you guys some more actual settings you guys can add and some applications that you can download to make your PC run a little bit better. Alrighty guys, so I'm actually going to go ahead and show you guys what settings you need for competitive Fortnite to get the absolute most FPS and the least input delay. I play stretch resolution this can give you a lot more fps and definitely a lot less simple delay if you want to play stretch resolution if you guys wanted a tutorial from me on how i did my stretch resolution to be able to play on full screen while playing stretch make sure you guys comment down below and like the video and let me know colorblind settings those don't matter that's all preference doesn't affect your input delay or fps all of these settings you want to make sure they are on off or low performance mode is best but it looks really bad so i'm going to recommend direct x 11 if you have a weaker pc and direct x 12 if you have a lot higher end gpu now when it comes to nvidia reflex low latency you want to make sure this is on on plus boost that is very important show fps on motion blur definitely off and vsync definitely off and just make sure all these are on low if you're playing 1920 by 1080 you guys can drop this down to maybe 80 and you can still see your game perfectly fine and it will improve your fps and your input delay by a lot so that's all the settings for fortnite and i'm gonna go ahead and get into the next game Alrighty guys, so we are on to Warzone now. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the best graphic settings for Warzone. Now I want to let you guys know ahead of time that I have a really terrible graphics card up until probably when this video goes up, I'll be getting my 3070. But as of right now, I'm showing you guys for a 1060 3 gigabyte. If you guys have a 1060 3 gigabyte or worse, copy these settings exactly. If you have anything better than a 1060 or even better than a 1070, anything better then honestly, ten, then 1060, I'm gonna show you guys the settings for that. You, everything that I have on low, just put to normal, just so you guys know that for if you have anything better than a 1060. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down. You guys wanna make sure you're playing on full screen for the least amount of delay. Make sure you guys have your refresh rate selected for your current monitor. Your resolution, you don't wanna change that from 100. Make sure you leave that on 100. Again, my monitor is default res because I've been playing stretched is 1750, but I might end up changing that um in a little while but you want to make sure that you have vsync turned off disable it aspect ratio automatic custom frame rate i just put it on limited because nobody runs as insanely high fps in this game so just put it on limited get as much fps as you can squeeze out 
nvidia low reflex or reflex low latency you guys want to make sure you have that on enabled plus boost that's going to give you the best fps and definitely the least amount of input delay it's really good gamma leave it at 2.2 again like i just said everything that i have on low if you guys have better than a 1060 put it on normal if you guys have worse or the same as a 1060 keep the settings that i have right now particle quality you want to leave that on high no matter what gpu you have this you want to leave on enabled doesn't affect fps at all and it's a cool aspect of the game um, tessellation you want to leave that on disabled you want to leave on on demand texture streaming on disabled that's honestly just storing ridiculous stuff on your computer that, that you don't need at all um, you want to leave shadow map resolution on low or you want to leave that on a low no matter what uh, graphics card you have actually um, cache spot shadows both of the shadows you want to leave them enabled it's ridiculous but they actually give you more fps you guys can try it in game i'm telling you they give you more fps it's super weird um, particle lighting you want to leave that on low again no matter what gpu you have um, ambient inclusion disabled screen space reflection disabled and on anti-aliasing you want to make sure you leave that on smaa 1x if you put it on smaa t2x that can give you a lot of visual noise it's really ugly you just want to make sure you leave it on sma 1x or off either one of those is fine depth of field disable film strength. you want to turn that all the way down i don't know why you would want that it's super ugly motion blur again just i don't know why you'd want that disable that completely and film grain you want to make sure you leave that on zero now onto the audio settings these are pretty important as well you want to make sure that you put it on boost low again this is all preference though but i do like boost low i can hear footsteps really good at boost low and uh, yeah that's pretty much it for the warzone settings i'm going to go ahead and show you guys maybe one or two other games that i have uh, played before and show you guys the best settings for those and then like I said I'm gonna go ahead and get back into window settings and just show you guys a few more things you guys can tweak for some better FPS Alrighty guys, so on to some of the last Windows optimizations, or now we're on to Windows cleanup, I guess. You want to go to the bottom left and type in percent, T-E-M-P, percent, and then click enter. It should take you here to this file folder. What you want to do is you actually just want to hit control A. Should highlight everything, and then you want to just delete and what should happen is it should do this. You want to hit do for all current items and hit skip. So that way what it's doing is it's going to keep and you want to click it again if it comes up. You want to, what it's going to do is it's going to keep all the important files that you actually need here and it's going to get rid of all of the old ones that you don't need. So that's important. And the next thing you want to do is really just empty your recycle bin. I don't know why I see some people who have like 8,000 items in their recycle bin. It's actually ridiculous, but you need to make sure you're clearing your recycle bin frequently. Next thing I want to show you guys is actually inside of GeForce Experience. So this is for, again, NVIDIA users. You guys want to make sure that your drivers are updated. Now, I'm not going to install mine right now because I'm recording, but you guys want to download your driver and then do the express installation and just make sure you guys are up to date on all of your drivers. Now, just to be clear, there are a few secret things that I left out of this video because it would have been way too long. If you guys want a part two, and these are gonna be the harder stuff to do, the part two. If you guys want that part two to increase your FPS and lower your input delay, let me know down in the comments below because I would definitely be down to make that. It's gonna take me a little bit longer because it's a little bit more complicated stuff, but it really does help. So again, if you guys did enjoy the video, if it helped you out in any way, make sure you guys please drop a like and subscribe. It goes a lot farther than you think and if you guys subscribe it's free and you guys can change your mind anytime so once again make sure you guys like and subscribe comment if you guys need help and uh yeah hope you enjoyed the video peace